Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A very famous interview question and it's very simple that you have to get a total number of characters, words and the lines in a given file. So very simple. What will be the approach? The approach is very, very easy. So I'll maintain three counters. First counter for total number of lines, total number of words and total number of characters. And uh, I'll just keep reading each and every line. So once uh, I'll read the line, I'll increase the a line counter so after reading this line plus one line plus two and line plus three like that so initially line equal to z uh, line counter is equal to zero so zero plus one plus two plus three so total number of lines for example three is there how many you uh, how will you get the total number of words so i'll just uh, split on the basis of uh, some space and then i'll that will give you one array and then i'll capture the dot length and then that will give you the uh, word length also and for character uh, for character point of view, I'll just keep splitting it when I get the each and every word. And then in that case, again, I'll be uh, checking that how many characters are available. So I'll create one simple uh, iteration for each and every word. And then I'll keep capturing the word dot length over here. And then I'll keep adding in my character count. So that will give you the character count over there. Very simple approach. So let's see how to uh, do this. So I'll do one thing. This is my main method. In this particular main method, I'll maintain first of all three counter. So let's see my first counter that I'm going to maintain that is for the character count. So I'll say, okay, this is my total number of character count initially zero. Then I'm going to maintain total number of word count again, zero. And then I'm going to maintain total number of line count. So let's see, these are the line count. This is line count. I'll maintaining initially zero. Okay. And then I'll do one thing that I'm going to create. I have to read this particular file. So I have to create the object of buffer reader. Okay, let's see buffer reader reader is equal to new a buffer a reader class object that I have created. And this buffer reader, first of all, that you have to import. And this buffer reader says, okay, you have to give me the uh, file path with the help of file reader object. So I'll be using this is my uh, file reader object and where exactly the path the path that I have already taken it's available somewhere in my documents folder like this and this file reader also you have to import from java okay now with the help of this particular reader i'll do one thing reader dot uh, there is a method reader dot read line method is available so here you can see that read line method is there and this read line method will give you the the first line to me so let's see this is my i'll say this is my uh, current line which is equal to this like that let's see that i have created and while reading anything, if it is giving you any kind of exception, then you surround with the try catch block like this. So for example, let's see I'm surrounding with the try catch block and the same line, let's see, I'll just uh, put it here as well. This line also saying, okay, you have to add one more catch clause if any kind of uh, IO exception is coming like that. Okay, so one single try is having multiple catch blocks are allowed. After that, I'll start a while loop and then I'll say, okay, fine for I'll read the first current line up to what is not equal to null. It means up to the end of the line, end of the each and every line. I have to start from from the beginning up to the end of the line like this. So I simply say current line is not equal to null. Okay, which is uh, fine. And then what exactly I'm going to do it over here. I'll simply say that uh, the moment I got the first line, it, it means I have to increase the line count here. So I'll simply say, okay, fine line count plus plus that's it this is the first thing that i have to do it because the line got increased so the moment i read the first line line count i have to increase okay so this is for the line then i'll be writing for the words so for the words what exactly i'm going to do that from the current line that we have already captured for example let's see the first line that i have already captured i'm going to split on the basis of a space here so i'll be writing a split on the basis of a space okay and then this will give you what this will give you one string array, for example, words array, which is equal to this. This is fine. And in this case, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to add use this particular word count, which is equal to what word count is equal to word count plus a words a dot length over here. It means get the length of the array for each and every line. Okay, so this is for the a word count. And then I'm going to use for the line count. So for line count, what will you do for line count? I'm going to use a for loop. First of all, this is the word array that I've already captured. So I'll do one thing. I'll create one string, for example, word in this particular words array. And then 
I'll do one thing. I'll just keep updating my character count now. So this is my care count. Okay. So this is the care count and then is equal to care count plus what? For each and every word, I'll capture the length over here. So I simply write word, okay, dot length of this particular string. So I'll be using a dot length method over here like this. And once this for loop is also done, then I'll do what? I have to go to the next line. So what should I do? I have to update this current line one more time over here like this, because this is for the first time. The first line is done because of line number 27. And then it will check up to uh, not null up to here. And then we have to capture the second line, right? So that's why we have to move the cursor or move the control to the next line. So that's why we have to write reader dot read line. So it will go to the next line, then the third line. And for each and every line, it will just keep capturing the counter word count and the character count over here like this. And once this is done, I'll do one thing that uh, once this is done, I'll come over here and out of the while loop and then I'll start printing it on the console. So I'll say system dot order print and then I'll write that uh, total first of all words or total number of lines I'll be printing it for example plus so the line count is what that is your line count okay and then the same time I'll be printing three more statements here total number of words and that will give you the word count and total number of lines so that will give you the or total number of characters sorry total number of character that will give you the character count so this is my character count okay so let's see it is uh, working or not so i'll just right click on it and run as java application so it's saying total number of lines are three which is absolutely fine and total number of words are 15 so you can check that okay this is one two three four five and six and the same thing 6 plus 6 equal to 12 uh, 13 14 and 15 which is absolutely fine and then you can check the character also you can count it now let's do the well, let's do one thing let me just write only uh, let me just 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 write only Naveen so here only one line one word and six characters are there okay so let's run it again and let's see so here you can see one line, <coughs> one word and six characters are there. So that is absolutely working fine. Then I'll say that, okay, fine, that I'll again write Naveen and then Naveen three times. So three lines, three words and six plus three, six multiplied by three is equal to 18 characters are there, which is absolutely fine once again. Okay. Then if you really want to print, for example, let's see uh, a test over here and then you are writing Java. So let's see it is um, how many lines it is giving. So here it's giving the total number of lines are six. So see guys, remember this thing here. I don't want to ignore this particular space. Uh, you know, this is space line. Why? Because three plus two is five and plus this is space line. Also, it is also considered as a, a line only. Although in this particular line, we don't have anything, but please don't ignore that. So don't put any condition if uh, uh, the current line is blank or not something like this. So don't do that. Okay. This is should also be considered. This is a valid use case that it's giving you. It's giving you the six lines over here like this. Okay. Then I'll do one thing in this particular line. I'll just put a space over here. So a space means one extra space character that I have added. So initially it were 26. Now it should give you 27. So let's see it is working or not. No, it is not giving you 27 uh, Y because the space is not splitted on the basis of that. So that's why, because if you see that uh, the word count that we got, the split is not, did not happen. So in that case, it's not giving, it's not considering the space count. Okay. That somewhere should be considered or not that it depends. You can ask at a time of interview that do you really need to consider the space characters or not? Because the space character is not uh, actual consideration for the total uh, character count. So let's see, I'm not handling it. It should ignore that. Okay. Because uh, on the basis of uh, space, we are splitting it. So it will give you this split uh, string and then um, it will not give you, it will not consider this a split string. So that's why that uh, uh, it will not capture the exact count over here for the characters. Okay. So this is absolutely working fine. And for example, let's see if I don't have any line. Okay. Or well, let's see, this is only the first line that is available. It is really giving you one or zero in that case. So here it's giving you total number of lines as zero because we have not written anything over here. Okay. So let's see if I'm writing only one single character and then you run it again. 
and then it's giving you yes you have one line one word and one character so t will be considered as a single line single word and single character having only one character as a word over here okay now let me just try with this space and then t okay so again we have only uh, one word and uh, sorry a uh, one line and then one character and then it's considering the two words over here because see there's a space is coming before t so that is how the split will work so this will be zero and this will be one so word count will be two in that case the word length will be two in that case remember this thing but see this if i remove this space and put a space over here then again this entire string will be split it so this will become a t only so this will become zero and then the first index uh, space index uh, string will be ignored so let's see it is giving you one word in that case or not so here it's giving you one word which is absolutely working fine so if you put a space before t then it will be considered as two space remember this thing okay so here actually it is considering we can fix this issue i think it's a kind of uh, not bug exactly this is a way java will work in that case but uh, when you split on the basis of this um okay so like that so you can do that so what you can do is that you can each and every uh, line that you are reading initially this line what you can do is you can put a trim over here it means remove all the before space and the after space so with this thing we can fix this issue okay so let's see this is a, a t space a space t that i have written and now it's running it it's giving you word count is one so that is what you can use a trim over here so trim means remove the before space and the after space so i think that will absolutely work fine in that case okay so uh, these are the different use cases guys that you can use it and uh, if you really want to f add some more features like including the spaces also or ignore this particular space line or something like that that also you can enhance this but this is a very simple uh, logic maintain three counters and see this line plus plus means line counter plus plus means the moment you read the line immediately increase the counter that is what immediately you have to do it you don't need to write any extra logic for that and that's it so that's all for this particular video i hope you liked it and um, there are a lot of good videos are coming on different, uh, you know, interview questions. So please subscribe to the channel, share with others, put a comment if you have any doubt over there, and then I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you.